So we're going to be sampling from a small population here. Jumping straight into a question. Uh, a staff room has a population of 10 people, six right-handers, four left-handers. Take a random sample of just four people from that group. What is the probability of one left-hander in your sample? Now, this should feel very familiar. It's just probability. Uh, and what we're going to do is, first of all, create a um, probability distribution. I've drawn up a little table here. Now, you'll notice that I've left a row uh, blank. I need that row. I'm going to put something in there a bit later. Okay, I'm taking a sample of four people. Uh, what is the probability of one, exactly one left-hander in the sample? Now, I'm going to do up my probability uh, distribution. Um, I could have zero left-handers. I could have one left-hander. I could have two left-handers, three left-handers, and four left-handers in my sample. Now, if I want to know those probabilities, one way to do it would be to draw up a tree diagram. This tree diagram is getting pretty out of control. We'll come up with better ways to do it in a second, but I just want to illustrate what's going on. Here, the, the first person, and then I'm picking a second person, and then a third person, and then a fourth person. Now, let's look at the uh, first person, first of all. Uh, the probability of picking a right-hander, uh, there's six right-handed people in the group. So it's going to be uh, 6 out of 10. And I'm not going to simplify that. I'm just going to keep it as 6 out of 10 there, uh, right here. And the probability of picking a left-hander is 4 out of 10. Now, I'm going to work first off um, down this like right-hander thing, because that'll give me the probability of 0 left-handers. OK, so it's going to be um, 6 out of 10, and then 5 out of 9, and then 4 out of 8, and then 3 out of 7. And, of course, I can multiply down that chain uh, to get my probability. The probability of getting right-hander, 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 that's zero left-handers, is this here, which is 1 over 14. I can do a similar one uh, down the... Bottom here, left, 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 left. That's the second easiest one to do. So the probability of getting a left-hander is 4 in 10, but then when I pick my next one, it's going to be 3 in 9, because there's only 3 left in the group, and then 2 in 8, and then 1 in 7. And when I do that calculation, it'll be this times this times this times this. It's 1 in 210, and that's right there. Now, life gets more complicated for the other ones. So if I want one left-hander, I need to consider my tree diagram a little more carefully. One left-hander can exist on this thing here, uh, on this one here, uh, on this one here, and, and on this one here. So I'd have to consider all four of those. Now, let's just consider one, first of all. Uh, 6 in 10, 5 in 9, 4 in 8, and the last one is going to be uh, 4 in 7. All right, so that's the probability of RRRL. Now, um, the next one, let's look at this one here, this next here, RRLR. That's going to be 6 in 10, 5 in 9, and then 4 in 8, because there's uh, 4 left-handers left out of 8. And then the next one's going to be an R. There's four R's left, so it's going to be uh, four in seven. Now, an interesting thing happens with those two. Uh, look at the numerators, first of all. Six, six, five, four, four. Look at the numerators of the next one. Six, five, four, four. Look at the denominators of, the, of them both. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Ten, nine, eight, seven. The numerators are all the same. The denominators are all the same. If you multiply down both of those, you're going to get, get the same result. So what does that mean for me when I want to multiply through and then add them together? I just need to multiply through and then multiply by 4 because that's how many chains I have. So multiply through and then multiply by 4 because I've got 4 options here. I get 8 out of 21. Now I can use similar procedures for the 2s and the 3s. Fantastic. We are done. Um, number of left-handers in the sample of 4 could be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. And the probabilities of each of those happening are 1 in 14, 8 in 21, 3 in 7, 4 in 35, and a whopping 1 in 210. 
Now, why on earth did I want to keep this extra row here? This is the nice little probability distribution. The reason that row is in there is because I want to introduce something called the sample proportion. Why on earth do I need to talk about proportion? That's going to be really, really useful for us. So, first of all, proportion of lefties in the sample, we use P hat. That is a hat sitting on top of there. Lowercase p with a hat. So instead of talking about absolute numbers of left-handers in the sample, instead we're going to talk about what percentage of the sample were left-handers. So in this first bit here, the percentage of the sample that were left-handers was zero, because there were zero left-handers. The percentage of left-handers in the sample here, there was one left-hander and there were four people in the sample, so one in four, or 25%. Uh, there were two here, so there were two left-handers out of four. So that's two and four, which is, of course, equal to um, one half. Now, the uh, proportion of lefties when there were three out of four is three out of four. And here, the proportion of lefties in the sample, four out of four is one. Okay, so now we have this proportion of lefties in the sample, or proportion of successes in the sample p hat our study of sample proportions it's going to be this p hat that's really really important now in terms of our probability we're just going to formalize that a little bit by saying that the probability of capital p hat zoom in a little bit is equal to uh, lowercase p hat now this is no different to what you've done in the past in the past, this would be uh, lowercase x, and this would say capital X, which is our random variable x. In this case, this is our random variable. The sample proportion is equal to the sample proportions given here, 0, 1 quarter, a half, 3 quarters, and 1. So it's this table in orange that's very important to us. The absolute number of left-handers is not as important as the proportion of left-handers in our sample. And then the probability is the proportion of left-handers in our sample that we're really worried about. Okay, that was sampling from a small population. You can see where we sample from a small population, we've got to do it without replacement. We've got to take people away. And then as we move through that tree diagram, those um, the denominator changes. When we start sampling from a larger population in a future video, things are going to change a little bit. It's going to get a little easier.